Hello everyone and welcome to IEM Labs. Now in this tutorial we are going to write a Python script using which we can convert any image into an ASCII art in Python. So we are going to use the Python image library or Pillow to achieve this. But since Pillow is not inbuilt into our when we install Python, so we have to install it externally. So let us do it using our Python installation package manager, pip, and write it as pip install pillow with a capital P and press enter. Since I've already installed pillow inside my computer system, it is showing requirement already satisfied. So now let us open up our Python script. I am using Visual Studio Code for writing my script and let us first import our image class from the pillow library through import pil.image. Now the path that we are going to use that is the steps that we are going to follow to create our ASCII art from an image is firstly to resize our image to our preferred size. That preferred size may be a default size that we give or the size that the user wants. Next is to convert each pixel of the resized image to a grayscale value as I have written here and finally we need to convert each of the grayscale image to ASCII characters. These ASCII characters we have written it in this ASCII cares, ASCII cares list. Now these characters have been written in the increasing order of in, uh, I'm sorry decreasing order of intensity but this is because it helps us to convert each uh, pixel of a different intensity say lighter pixels are converted to this uh, period comma or colon or semicolon depending on the shade of their intensity and darker pixels that is the darker intensity pixels are converted to at the rate hash capital S percentage or mod etc so depending on that we have written a character of uh, decreasing order of intensity of ASCII characters so we will use this list to create our ASCII image so the first uh, let us write first our main function def main so first of all we need to take the image path as input from our user let us write it as enter a valid image path next using a try except statement i'm going to define whether that path is valid or not how shall we do this in the try statement i'm going to try to open our image by creating an object of the pil dot image class through pil dot image dot open and provide the path name within the parenthesis and in the except statement that is if the try statement does not work we are going to print uh, path is not a valid input so now we have written our main function now the time comes to go through each of the steps of our script so the first step is to resize our image to the desired size we will take an object of the image class as a parameter along with the new width to which we are going to resize it to so the new width should be let's uh, set a default as 100 now we can get the original width and the height of our image through image dot uh, size 
method. This method returns the width and the height of our image. Next, we shall find out the ratio between the height and the width of our image. Next, we are going to find out the new height through through the product of the ratio and our new width. It is uh, just like a unitary method. Say we have uh, 500 by 400, uh, I'm sorry, 400 width and 500 height. Just like, let's say this uh, terminal we are currently writing it, this script we are writing. Let us say it as 400 width and 500 as the height. Now we have to resize it to a width of 100. So now for 400 width, we have a height of 500. Therefore, for a width of one unit, we will have a height of 500 by 400 units. Therefore, for a width of 100 units, we will have that ratio that is 500 by 400 into our new width that is 100 units. So that is why we are writing these two lines to create, to find out our new width. Next, we are going to resize our image and store it into a resized image variable or resized image object. We are going to resize it as image.resize and within the parentheses we are going to provide a tuple which will contain new width comma new height and then we are going to return return our resized image so we have converted i'm sorry we have resized our image and we have successfully uh, covered our first step towards making an ASCII art. Next, what we're going to do is uh, convert each of our pixel of our image to grayscale. So I'm going to write the function as two underscore grayscale and it will take an object of the image class as a parameter. So how can we convert our original image that is the pixels into grayscale we are going to write image dot convert with a convert with a small c and within parentheses we are going to write capital l and then we are going to return our grayscaled image so now we have resized our image and we have converted each of the pixels of our image to grayscale. Next, the point is that the next step is to convert each of our pixel into an ASCII character. Here we are going to take an object of our image class as input, uh, I'm sorry, as parameter. So we are going to find out our pixels uh, from image.getData method this uh, will help us to find out all the pixels inside our image that is the pixel values uh, inside our image next we are going to convert each of our pixels into a single string using our join function a python built-in join function as a list of strings let us write ascii cares pixel underscore 25 i mean integer division 25 for pixel in pixels this will help us to convert each of our gray scaled pixel into a into a single ascii character depending on its intensity this integer division 25 helps us to find out the corresponding ASCII character depending on the intensity of that corresponding pixel. So now we are going to return our characters list, uh, return our characters list and that's that. So we have written all our made functions for converting our image to a 
to an ascii art now the step becomes to uh, combine all these functions together and read out the final output so let's do this <laughs> uh, just joking So the steps are, as I have mentioned before, first to resize our image, then convert each of the pixel to grayscale, and then convert each of the grayscale pixel to an ASCII character. So let us write as final string, or let us write it as final ASCII string as um, to, to ASCII, because the final function will be the two ascii function which will take an image as the input but we need to give our grayscaled image as input inside our two ascii function now the two grayscale image in turn will also take an image that is the object of the image class as a parameter but since we have to first resize our image therefore we are going to write resize image inside our to grayscale function which in turn is embedded or written as a parameter inside our to ascii function now the resize image function takes a parameter image as a parameter and then uh, since i have not used up any uh, <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry i've just got a bit of a cold um, since i've not used any new width i'm going to just give new width equals to 100 or rather let us uh, just take an input it doesn't matter whether we take the input or not let us take it as int input as enter desired width so we are going to give the new width as our parameter the new width is a user input so let us find out the number of pixels from len final ascii string and then we are going to write ascii image equals to we are going to join a new line character using a new line character each of the pixels that is each of the ascii characters of the image and finally construct the new image that is the ascii image inside our ascii image variable so we are going to again use our uh, join function the inbuilt join function to create the final ascii image so we are going to write final ascii image as i colon i plus new width this will ensure that the new width that is the desired width of our ascii art is maintained throughout the for loop here for i in range from 0 to the number of pixels the total number of pixels with an increment of new width finally we are going to print our ascii image and since we uh, let us uh, create our let us create a text file to store this ascii image how can we do that with open ascii image or let us write ascii art dot txt and we're going to open it in the right method as file we're going to write file dot write ascii image 
Now, if uh, there is no ASCII art.txt existing currently in your working directory, then it will create an ASCII art.txt and write the ASCII image inside the ASCII art. Next, we are going to call our main function and finally, we have, con uh, we have created our Python script to convert the ASCII image, uh, I'm sorry, to convert any image into an ASCII image. So let us save it and then run it from our command line interface. And next we are going to uh, CD into our desktop slash projects. Since I have uh, stored my Python script and my data inside there. So we are going to CD desktop dot projects. Let us list out the files that are present over here so we have got our image to ascii.py and the original picture that we are going to convert into our ascii art that is python.jfif so we are going to run our script through pi image underscore to ascii.py and press enter so we have got to install, uh, enter a valid image path since the both the Python script and our image are in the same working directory. Therefore, we only need to give our python.jfif uh, name to the input as input and the desired width I will give it as 100 and press enter and you can see that our Python our ASCII art has been successfully created over here. Also, if you want to find out the whether the ASCII art is protect uh, ASCII art has been created or not inside the ASCII art.txt, you can open it up from the working directory in which you are working in. As you can see, I have opened up my ASCII art.txt and it has beautifully converted my python.jfif file into a beautiful intricate text art design. So this is how you can convert any image into a text art using the Python image library and using this script. I will provide the link to the source code in the description below. So please check it out from that. In the meanwhile, Thank you for watching this video guys. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and please do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified of any and every video that we post on this channel. Thank you.